Hello and welcome to another edition of The Library Show. I'm Mike Kletzley and we have a very special show for you today. I'll be talking with my co-host Holly about our newest addition to our online resources and Miss Connie will be here with the story time. But right now I'm joined by our Juvenile Services Librarian, Marissa Redenbaugh. Thanks for coming, Marissa. Thank you for having me. I understand that you've been checking out our newest online resource, Tutor.com. Yes, it's a wonderful new resource and I think it comes at the right time for everyone. I agree with all the homeschooling and things. Yes. What have you found out or what are some of your favorite features? So I love that it incorporates features for both children and adults as individuals, but mm -hmm. also some resources for them to work together on. Nice. So that does fit well with the homeschool model. Mm -hmm. yeah. Tell me some of the things that Tutor.com offers that you hadn't seen before on those types of sites. What, what's special about it? Yeah, so there's three different areas. There's a study help area, mm -hmm. a test prep area, and a career area. Okay. So if you go to the career area, it's for adult services, and that's things like um, not just resumes, mm -hmm. but also financial literacy, which I felt was a new feature, mm -hmm. as well as citizenship help and GED help, and it's all right there in one area for the adults. Wow, so you don't need to switch between websites. It's all there. Right. Okay. Tell me, what are some of the things that you think that our patrons will like most about it? What are some features that, in your experience with our patrons, that you think they will be appreciative of? Yeah, so um, working at the information desk, I get a lot of questions for test prep books. Mm -hmm. Those are really nice, but in a library sense, it's really difficult because as soon as one person checks them out, they're no longer available for people to come in and browse or make copies of or for someone else to check out. Right. And typically, people want to hold on to those things for quite a while as they're preparing for a test. Right. Um, so these things, they, these resources are all digital and multiple people can use them at a time. So, you know, as if someone's preparing for um, the GRE in college or the MCAT or the nursing test or the mm -hmm. TEAS test, or if someone in high school or grade school is needing help on English or literary analysis, um, those types of things. Uh, or even other subjects such as math, science, or social studies, all of those things are right there and can be used by multiple patrons at one time. Nice. So it's very efficient and, um, well, it just it lends itself to being used by multiple people. Yeah. Now, you mentioned test prep and you mentioned the graduate studies thing. Are there also SAT and ACT areas? There definitely are, yeah. Good. And that'll help a lot of our high school students. Yes. Nice. Oh, now, and there's also um, the OGT. Uh, the thing that kids have to take, I believe it is high school, the mm -hmm. Ohio graduation test, mm -hmm. there's also prep for those on there. Good, so they'll get a lot out of that. Yeah. Now, if I understand correctly, it's free site to our patrons, but they need to start by going through our website. Correct. So you first go to LebanonLibrary.org, mm -hmm. and then go to our online resources and look under T for tutor.com. Mm -hmm. Just click use this resource and enter in your information. Okay. And the information they would need is their library card number mm -hmm. and then their PIN or password. And that yes. is the last four of their phone number. That's correct. Okay. And sometimes based on when people register for their library card versus the phone number they have now might be different. So if people are unsure about that, mm -hmm. uh, they can always call us and either check to see what the password is, their PIN number, or they can have it changed to their current phone number. Gotcha. And they would call us at 932-BOOK, which That's is 2665. Correct. Yes. Okay. Well, that's a wonderful overview of it. Anything else you want to add about Tutor.com that our patrons should be aware of? Mostly I think I sh just want to stress that patrons should go on and look around and maybe find some things that they weren't expecting. Uh, um, like I mentioned, the literary analysis. So there is on there a section for high school students within English, and you can break it down even further than high school English into literary analysis. So if you're having trouble with that, uh, which can be confusing for a lot of students, then there's help on that as well. Nice. Sounds like a really good website. And if I remember correctly, it can save your session so that you can review that on your own if yes. you have like a tutoring session. Yes. And it can also file um, some of those resources that they gave you into that file so you can almost study on your own after you've had a session. Yeah, so there are some, you know, available um, tools and resources mm -hmm. for you to use and browse on your own, but then as you mentioned, you can go through and really interact with a tutor on tutor.com, which is really a unique resource. And those sessions can be saved and used later. Awesome. So that confidence you get from working one-on-one -on -one with somebody can be saved and help you down the road. Yeah, you get confidence. It saves a lot of money. It mm -hmm. saves time. If you need a parent to drive you to a tutoring session, now you no longer have to have that. Nice. So tutor.com is apparently a pretty welcome addition to our online resources. Yes. 
Well, thank you, Marissa, for being here. Appreciate it. Thank you. Up next, uh, my co-host Holly and I will dive into Tutor.com a little more on screen. Read to a child today and spark a lifetime of ambition. I was 0.5 credits away from completing high school and I didn't do it. My support team never stopped pushing for me to be better because they knew who I could become as a person. Surprise! I've been given an opportunity and I'm just thankful for it. Find free adult education classes near you at finishyourdiploma.org. Hi, and welcome back to The Library Show. Thanks for joining us as we explore a brand new database that we have free to our patrons called Tutor.com. This is going to be a great resource for students um, in high school and college and even the younger kids alike. So I'm here with my co-host Mike Kletzley, and Mike, I know you went over some of the facts about Tutor.com with Marissa. Right. Um, how about we kind of jump into it and get a, a quick look at it and see how it goes? That sounds good, Holly. Okay. So I'm at the opening screen because I've already logged on to our website as the public library. And okay. And from there, I logged on to online resources, and then I chose T for Tutor.com. Okay. Mm -hmm. Found that one, clicked on that, and then it first asked me for my library card number which I put in, and then okay. asked for my PIN or my password, and that was the last four digits of my phone number. Okay. So then after I put those in, it comes up with the screen that we're looking at now. Okay, so they do need they do need their library card yes. to log in, okay? Right. And usually their their number is on their library card, right. and then the, uh, the PIN is usually the last four digits of the phone number, but if not, they can call the tech center or call us at you know, our number, 932-2665, and right. we can let them know. Sure, yeah. absolutely. Yep. So once you're past the initial or the hurdle, I, I don't want to call it a hurdle, but once you're past the initial part of it, you would come up with a screen like this. Now, if the tutoring session isn't open, it's open usually from two to nine on uh, a day, a given day. Okay. If it's not open, then they will direct you to other websites or other, I'm sorry, not websites, but other um, features that it has. Okay. And okay. so we could use those and we'll dive into those as well. But right now, the screen that we're looking at is the tutoring screen. Okay. So I would pick the topic that I needed help in. Okay. And I would pick the grade level that I'm interested in. And then I'd also have an option to do a live voice chat, which I could or, or just choose to type. Really? So either way works. And then I would actually enter my subject and my question. And then once that question is sent, it will find a tutor who can help me with that very question. It might so, take a couple minutes. But. Right. So you can ask pretty much any question, like any skill level, like if you need. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Almost any skill level that you can imagine is on there from A to Z. And once you've done that, the tutor that they find is an expert in that area. So oh, you wonderful. May, you may wait a minute to get the tutor, but once you right. do, the time will be so fast because right. they're zeroing in on your question. And it'll tell you on the main page if one is not available or if the live tutor is not open at that time. It'll okay, so that, okay. Yep. And so when I did my tutoring session, um, I asked a math question and then he walked me through the answer to it. And the cool part is, and I mentioned this with Marissa, it will save your session. So if I'm like, really? I'm not sure what he said or what, what, how did he get to that? I could replay that session all the way from beginning to end and it will rehearse what I did. Oh, that's excellent. Yeah. So does it have a, like a, a place where it keeps your account information? Yes, they call okay. it the locker and okay. that will enable you to your save. Locker, your locker, I love locker. that. Yeah. yeah. So it's a neat site. So again, those live tutoring sessions can help a lot, but even without those, there's lots of other features. Okay, okay. What are some of the, do they have like anything that, like study features of any kind or? They do. Um, one of the features they have other than tutoring, which is on the far left, the next one over is to submit a paper for a review. Really? So if you've typed a paper into your computer, you would type out to them what the subject is, the level, the writing process, what your homework assignment was for that paper, whether it had to be a certain length or a certain number of paragraphs that devoted to the topic. Wow. And then once you do that, you can upload that, that paper to them and then within, I, I believe they said 24 hours, 12 hour review. 12 hour, okay. 12 hour, it will come back to you with their thoughts or ideas. Really? Yeah. That's, that's phenomenal, yes. that's awesome. So that way you're not submitting a paper that, that is below what you're capable of doing. Right, right, and get yeah. some you know, extra help with yeah. someone that really knows what they're talking about. Exactly. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. 
And the next one, do you want me to keep going on the features? Because the next one is where you can drop off a question. Really? Yes, yeah. tell us about that. Well, if you hit the question, it will enable you to formulate your question. Mm -hmm. And then it will allow you to tell them exactly what you want to know. And it will find a person who is expert in that. And they will get back to you with an answer, usually within 24 hours. Really? Yeah. OK. And they will come back with an answer to your question that you can use in your studies. Right. So what is the, what is the other tools there? Well, the next one was take a practice quiz. And that one, again, you need to specify what subject you're looking okay. at. OK, OK. And what topic. And it formulates a quiz for it you? Formulates a quiz okay. for you, yep. So I would have to sub select my subject and my topic, and then what quiz I'm looking for. OK. So if I wanted, let's say I wanted to do an ASVAB test, which is for the military, and I wanted to see what I might do on the real ASVAB test, I would click really? that. And then I would click, um, uh, let's say, general science for that, and I would take the quiz, and it would give me practice questions for that. Oh, I'm actually learning stuff as we yeah. go. This is yeah. nice. OK. So once you hit the answer, you hit next, and at the end, it calculates your score and tells you how you'll probably do on the real one at this level of your education. OK. Yeah, so it's mm -hmm. kind of neat. So those practice quizzes are for almost any topic that you can think of. Wow. And then over here on the far right are other tools that you can use. There's prep for SAT and ACT, which, as you know, is, is definitely something our high school students will be interested in. Right, right. And that, is that something that you have taken a look at? Because I know that you, um, you head up our ACT prep classes. So what's it look like to you? Does it look good? It looks really good. What okay. I like about it is it doesn't dive you straight into the questions. It first prepares you, tells you some of the pacing th to use, some of the thought processes to use, and all that before you even get into the quiz itself. Kind of like preparation then. And yeah, it yeah. covers all of that. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. So it does that. It does grad school tests. It does the AP exams. And it also does uh, some videos about math and English that will get you ready for those prep tests wow. if you're not feeling confident yet. Wow. Yeah. Well, that's that's amazing. So basically, all you need is um, your library card, and you can dive into this awesome database. Yes. And that's then once wonderful. you uh, once you hit my account, it's that locker piece we talked about where it's saving all your sessions from before. It also talks about your tutor. Uh, if you have a favorite tutor you really got along with on a session or two, you can request them. Really? So you yeah. can request the same tutor? Yeah. Okay. If well, that's wonderful. If you've worked well with them, yeah. Yeah. And then really quickly, Holly, if we go back to the beginning, it has study tools down at the bottom. And this talks about math. It talks about quadratic equations and things. It also has resources, calculators, all the things that you might, you know, have reference to in a school, but you're at home, you can reference them as well. So it's it's your own accessible tutor, basically, right. in a time where it's going to be hard to get tutors face-to-face -face yes. right now. So right. yeah, wow, that's wonderful. Yeah. Well, thanks for walking us through that, Mike. Well, thank um, you. Yeah, we hope that you check out that beneficial database. And again, it's called tutor.com. If you have any trouble accessing it, you can give us a call at 932-2665. Up next, we have Miss Connie with a very exciting story time. So stay tuned. There's a lot of fear in coming back to school. I'm a 40-year-old man that walked in there to get his high school diploma. It was very hard for me, but one of the teachers was Miss Araceli. She gave me direction. Every single time I had a question, she'll put down whatever she's doing, and she'll sit there with you until you get it. 50% of getting your high school diploma is walking through those doors. The other 50% is doing the work. Find free adult education classes near you at finishyourdiploma.org. Your hometown source, The Lebanon Channel, is now on YouTube. I know how fortunate I am. Just search City of Lebanon, Ohio to connect with everything that's happening right here. And, and that's going to be an exciting part about this walking tour. Subscribe to receive exclusive local content available only on The Lebanon Channel. Wow, Neil Armstrong's coming to my launch. I was so excited about that. That's the City of Lebanon, Ohio, now on YouTube. That's what makes us, uh, Lebanon, Ohio, a great yeah, place buddy. to live. Yeah. Hi everyone, it's Miss Connie from the Lebanon Public Library. Thank you for joining me today for story time. Well, my friend, the book bunny is ready to begin, so why don't you say the words with me to help me wake him up and then we can get our story started. Here we go. Book bunny, book bunny, it's time for story time to begin. Well, hello, book bunny. Can you give the boys and girls a big wave? He is so happy to see everyone today. So we're going to put the book bunny right over here 
And then let's take a peek inside the mystery box today to get a clue about today's story. So here we go. Mystery box, mystery box. What's inside the mystery box? Mystery box, mystery box. What's inside the mystery box? Are you ready to take a peek inside the mystery box? Well, let's do that so we can see what our story is today. So, inside the mystery box, there are two objects. These objects you would probably find near the seashore. Let's see what they are. Oh, look at this. The first one is a seashell called a fox shell. Sometimes if you hold a shell like this up to your ear, they say that you can hear the sound of the ocean waves. Let's see what our next object is. Oh, it's a seashell also, but very different shape. Look at this one. It is called a lion's paw shell. It does look a little bit like a gigantic lion's paw, doesn't it? Well, today our story is going to be about a creature that lives near the ocean and in the ocean. Mm -hmm. It's called Fidgety Fish. Now, Fidgety Fish's name is Tiddler, and he is very fidgety and has lots of energy. So one day, his mom sends him out to the sea to swim all that energy out. Fidgety Fish. There he is. There we go. There's our title page. And remember, the title is the name of the book, Fidgety Fish. It's by Ruth Galloway. She's the author and the illustrator. So she wrote the words to the story, and she also did the artwork. Tiddler was always fidgeting. He wriggled and squiggled. He darted and giggled until his mom got fed up with him. Go out into the sea and swim till you're tired, but watch out for the big fish, she said. So Tiddler swam out of his cave. He dived and he flipped, he leaped and he dipped, and he sped faster than a rocket and glided gently like a swan, letting the sea currents fan his fins but he still didn't feel tired. The sea was full of the most interesting things. There were limpets that clung and a jellyfish that stung. There was a big starfish that didn't do much at all. Hello, said Tiddler, nudging the starfish gently with his nose. The starfish didn't answer. It didn't even move. A crab sidled by, clicking and clacking its big claws. Tiddler wanted to play with it, but the crab scuttled off and disappeared into the seaweed. Tiddler came to a big, dark cave. Wait a minute. I've never seen a cave with gigantic eyeballs like that, have you? It looked much more exciting than his cave back home. And Tiddler swam in and snap! Everything went dark. Tiddler was trapped inside the big fish. He trembled and shivered and he shook and quivered until the big fish's tummy began to feel very funny indeed. It rumbled and grumbled. It turned and it tumbled. It fluttered and groaned and it mumbled and moaned. Suddenly, the big fish burped and burp, whoosh, out shot Tiddler. He shot past the jellyfish and the clickety crab hiding in the weeds, past the starfish and straight through his own front door. I hope you've used up all that energy, said his mom. 
but she would have to wait until the morning to hear about his adventures because Tiddler was already fast asleep. Boy, he did have quite adventure in that big fish's tummy, didn't he? Well, thank you all for joining me at Storytime. I'll see you next time. Thanks again for joining us today at the Library Show. Remember, any important events will be listed on our events page on lebanonlibrary.org. A few reminders, Stories and Crafts with Rachel and Marissa is every Tuesday at 1 p.m. And we have every third Thursday at 3 p.m. You can join Rachel for Social Emotional Storytime. Both of these events are on our Facebook page and also on the library's new YouTube channel. So definitely be sure to check that out. Thanks again for joining us this month and we will see you again next month. Thank you.